I'm Michael J. Lavery. They call me the Hammer Man. And the reason is because I've invented this program of helping people from all walks of life develop hand-eye coordination with a very simple concept. Get a hammer. Maybe get a whole bunch of hammers. What I did was I got a whole bunch of hammers from Home Depot. I have 16 ounce hammers, 22 ounce ball ping hammers, 28 ounce east wing hammers, two and a half, four pound, six pound, eight pound, 10 pound, 12 pound, and 16 pound sledgehammers. And I train at these drills every day. My story is very interesting. I used to be a minor league baseball player. I played hockey, football, baseball, tennis, squash, so a lot of hand-eye coordination activities. And now I've designed a program that can help anyone improve at hand-eye coordination. Let me explain whole brain power. This is my book, which I've written, with the help of Gregory S. Walsh. In this book, you will learn of my own story on the journey to become highly ambidextrous. Chapter two, the blueprint for the brain. Your hands physically grow your brain. Chapter three, the penmanship. In this chapter here, you will learn how to write extremely well with either hand and do da Vinci type of mirror writing. It finishes off with a beautiful ending to the chapter, inspiring the readers to start practicing fine motor control. Chapter four, the memory chapter. I'll do a demonstration today of bouncing a golf ball off a ball peen hammer as I recite the states in alphabetical order. The workbook. This is the 90 day transformation to the changes that will happen in your life once you start practicing the three major tenets of whole brain power. The memorization, the penmanship with either hand, and becoming highly ambidextrous at the hammer drill training and then apply that to your sports training. Let's do a demonstration on the ball peen hammer. Let's do the states in alphabetical order, bouncing a golf ball off a ball peen hammer using a titleless golf ball. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. I explain how I've been able to achieve this type of focus and hand eye coordination in my book, Whole Brain Power. I trust that you'll at least investigate the claims. Now, with the rubber mallets, we're gonna practice bouncing the ball with our right hand. We're gonna practice bouncing the golf ball with our left hand. We're gonna practice bouncing the golf ball from one hand to the other. I play sports ambidextrously. When I'm hitting a tennis ball, both right-handed and left-handed, my opponent asks me, Hammer, are you right-handed or left-handed? And you know what I say to them? I say to them, I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> Can you imagine if the whole team's able to run down the first baseline bouncing a ball off a rubber mallet with either hand? Or how about running around the bases? I can run extremely fast bouncing a golf ball off a 28 ounce S-wing hammer. Let me show you how I do it. Haha, -ha, that is focus. I began playing golf at the age of 43 on a serious basis. I had never broken 110 in my life. Within three and a half years, I shot a legitimate round of 65 at Aliso Viejo Golf Course here in Southern California. I did it with the hammer drills. People wonder why I can hit a baseball or a tennis ball or a golf ball with such force. It's because I developed my forearm flexors and extenders. These forearms definitely act as though they're weights, creating greater centrifugal force. If you go see my YouTube channel, Whole Brain Planet, you can see the way I take a very short backswing with my golf club, but yet 
hit the ball a country mile.